What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network, here with a reading of the most amazing newsletter uh, made by the Bitcoin Operations Technology Group. Let's get right into it. Newsletter number two on July 3rd, 2018. Unsubscribing. We've moved to a new platform for distributing this week's newsletter. If you're not interested in receiving weekly updates of what's happening in Bitcoin open source community, please click the unsubscribe link at the bottom of this email. Don't do that. That's stupid advice. You have to subscribe, not unsubscribe. I think that's a typo. Don't hesitate to contact us at info at bitcoinops.org if you have any questions or comments about what we are doing. Welcome. Welcome to the second Bitcoin Optech Group newsletter. As a member of our new organizations, you can expect to see regular newsletters from us covering the Bitcoin open source development and protocol news, Bitcoin Optech announcements, and member companies case study. These newsletters are also available on our website. As always, please feel free to contact us if you have feedback or comments on this newsletter. A reminder to companies that have not yet become an official member yet. We ask that you pay a nominal contribution of $5,000 to help fund our expenses. The first Bitcoin Optech workshop. As announced previously, the Bitcoin Optech group is organizing our first workshop in July 2017 in San Francisco. Participants will be one to two engineers from the San Francisco Bay Area Bitcoin companies. We will have a roundtable discussion covering three topics, coin selection best practices, fee estimation replaced by fee, and child pays for parent best practices, optech community and communications, and optimizing the optech for business needs. Please contact us if you would like to be involved in this or future workshops in other regions. Open source news. A summary of relevant action items, dashboard items, and news from the broader Bitcoin open source community. Action items. No new action items, but follow-up related to the following previously published items is still recommended. The pending denial-of-service vulnerability disclosed for Bitcoin Core 0.12 and earlier, altcoins may be affected, see newsletter number one, and upgrade to the Bitcoin Core 0.16.1, released on the 15th of June 2018. The update is especially recommended for miners. See also newsletter number one. Dashboard items. Transaction fees remain very low as of this writing. Fee estimates for the confirming two or more blocks in the future remain at roughly the level of the default minimum relay fee in Bitcoin Core. It is a good time to consolidate inputs. Update on July 2nd. The estimated network hash rate decrease in the last three to four days, initially by as much as 10%, but rebounding a bit since. Some have speculated that flooding in southwestern China has destroyed a significant amount of mining equipment. Note, however, that due to the natural variance in the rate of block discovery, it is only possible to make a rough estimate of the current amount of network hash rate over short periods of times. Lower network hash rate implies a slower rate of block discovery, which can lead to mempool congestion and potentially higher fees. So far, the mempool congestion does not appear to have increased significantly and fees remain low. However, it is recommended to keep monitoring block discovery rate and mempool congestion before sending large transactions. Testnet high block production rate. La late last week, a miner produced a large number of blocks in rapid su succession on Testnet sometimes several blocks per second, leading to a degra degradation of services from some testnet providers. This is a recurrent problem on testnet that is the result of deliberately lack of economic incentives to mine there. If you need to test your software, it's much more reliable to build your own private testnet using Bitcoin Core's rec test mode. News. 
continued discussion over graft root safety. Graft root is a proposed opt-in alternative to tap root, which proposed enhancements of Merkelized abstract syntax trees or MAST, which is itself a proposed enhancement on the current Bitcoin script. MAST improves scalability, privacy, and fungibility by allowing unused conditional branches in Bitcoin scripts to be left out of the blockchain. Taproot further improves MAST, scalability, privacy, and fungibility by allowing even the unused conditional branches in a script to be left out of the blockchain in the common case. Graftroot improves Taproot's flexibility and scalability by allowing participants in the script to delegate their spending authority to other parties, including allowing existing participants to impose additional script-based conditions on the delegates, all done off-chain and without reducing the scalability, privacy, and fungibility benefits. In a slowly progressing discussion, members of the Bitcoin developer mailing list have been attempting to construct an infor informally worded security proof that enabling graft root delegation by default does not reduce the security of users who do not need it. For example, who just want to use Taproot without delegating or even just plain mast. Although more peer review is needed, the effort seems to be proce proceeding positively with experts currently agreeing that it is safe to enable graft root by default. BIP 174 discussions, as mentioned in last week's newsletter, mailing list discussion continues surrounding a proposed Bitcoin improvement proposal for an industry standard to make it easier for wallets to communicate with each other in the case of online offline, that is hold hot and cold storage wallets, software and hardware wallets, multi-sig wallets, and multi-user transactions, for example, coin joints. However, the BIP proposer has now opened a pull request requesting the BIP's status to be changed from draft to proposed. That means it is unlikely to be changed unless a significant problem with the implementation is found. If, you or, if your organization produces or makes critical use of one of the aforementioned interoperating wallets, you may wish to evaluate the current proposal as soon as possible before it is finalized. Dandelion, a transaction relay. This proposed privacy-enhancing improvement to the way new transactions are initially relayed was briefly discussed on the Bitcoin Dev mailing list this week. This may concern uh, was how it selects which peers to route the transaction through and which could be abused to reduce privacy temporarily during the initial deployment when only a few nodes support Dandelion. Two mitigations of this problem were discussed. Peers, subscribe to the Bitcoin Optech newsletter. It is a wealth of resources. And I thank all the contributors and supporters of the Bitcoin Optech group uh, for sharing this information um, and making sure uh, that all we do here in Bitcoin is as transparent and open source as possible. Peers, thank you very much for joining me here on the World Crypto Network for this reading of the Optech newsletter number two. See you on the next show. Bye-bye.